as we move forward through this lovely week, our next victim on the chopping block is a brand new um, wide body Hellcat Red Eye. Uh, I believe the car is an auto car. And it is getting a, I believe, a Borla Attack exhaust. I'm going to go into the parts room here in just a second, pull out the exhaust system, and that way I can double check that for you. In the meantime, as you can see, we've got our motor out of our Louisiana car. And there's just a bunch of little stuff that is just not okay. Um, as you can see, the valve covers have some stuff on there. I'm assuming the push rods have knocked through there. So we're going to get him some new valve covers. Uh, and then, I mean, we've got broken hardware. So definitely that valve cover is not going to seal up properly. Which was one of the things that, you know, the reason why we pulled it is this thing leaked everywhere. Notice we've got the front main seal out. Notice the crank has only got one pin slot in it when it should have two. So the crank was sitting sideways. All sorts of just things not correct. So we're going through and we are addressing those things and getting this motor ready to go back in. Uh, John also pressure washed the engine bay of the car as well. Hold on, let me tell John to pull his head out of his ass. So now that John's got his head out of his ass, he's gonna go ahead and pull this, uh... Stand in front of me, <laughs> What was that? What was that, sir? Stand in front of me. Uh oh, stand in front of the car, he says. You're good. All the cars are filthy, unfortunately. So it's a 2020, not a 2022. But it is a wide body red eye. So. Hold on one second. Oh, fire it back up. Let me get a let me get a little revs, a little before revs. And so there is our boiler exhaust. We'll get this thing peeled open and get it installed on this red eye. So guys, as you can see, we have our Borla attack system installed, factory tips back on, our electronic valving's all plugged in, and this joker is wrapped up. So we can go ahead and set it down. Let's hear what this attack sounds like. As we move through our day, we've got another victim on the dyno. This 2016, I don't know where I was pointing the camera at, this 2016 Dodge Charger. As you can see, this one has a Holly Sniper EFI intake manifold, has some Demon Injectors, it's got some long tube headers, and a torque converter in it. Don't quote me. I don't know what the torque converter is on it. Because we didn't do any of the work on this one, it is just in for tuning. Oh, it does have a Texas Speed camshaft in it. I do not know the specs on that either. Um, our friends down at Ashton Performance are the ones that did the work on this one. 
Uh, I'm not sure what all they did or what parts were already on the car or what one this or what wasn't already on the car. But either way, it's here now. And we're gonna get to tuning on it. This thing also is on E85, so to be exciting. Let's see what kind of power this one makes. So I've got the base map all done. John's got this joker strapped down. Ready to make our first tug. John, you want to take a guess on what our first tug's going to be? Uh, 430. 430. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. Uh, yeah. I'm going to go higher. I'll go, I'll go 445. 445? 445. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and give this thing a rip. No fan. You got no fan on it. Yeah, it sounded a little spunky. It sounded like a it sounded like a mouse's toy car took off like what the heck was that <laughs> it would have been a tiny crash it would have been a tiny accident <laughs> oh sorry about that folks so john and i were both wrong and i forgot to tell john this car is on the 85 so that's a little funny but <laughs> there you have it first tug uh, I don't know if there's room for a whole lot of improvement. Air fuels look great. I mean, that curve looks pretty stout. I still need to look through the log, check timing. Air fuel, like I said, looks good. So, kind of the perk of the, doing these cars all the time, you can get them dialed very quickly. So, uh, let's go through the log getting towards the end of the day so I don't know if we're gonna get this one finished today we'll probably make some tugs in the morning but uh, see where it ends up As you guys just heard, this is a rowdy little joker right here. Made some really good power. Let me show you the final numbers. This joker finished out. 
521 and 478. Nice clean looking graph. So, pop this thing off the dyno, go take it for a test drive, ship this baby on back to the customer.